Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those who are coming in for the first time, uh, my name is Gadron Kozak and for those who are coming in uh, as regulars, welcome back. Uh, today I am planning to make samosas. Um, my filling is um, minced beef and for the pastry I uh, will just show you the things that I need. So. Um, we will crack on. So uh, what we need uh, to make our pastry is just 400 grams of wheat flour, plain. Uh, I am not using any ad additives nor baking powder. You need 400 uh, milliliters uh, of water. You will need uh, the oil for frying your, deep frying your samosas and then you need uh, just a spoon teaspoon of uh, salt so I'll just pour it in and just mix it up to just make the dough uh, what I'm doing at the moment is just uh, preparing the dough and then after that uh, I will leave it to rest for about uh, 20 minutes and then I will prepare uh, the pastry, uh, put it in the oven for three minutes and then separate the sheets. So bear with me as I show you how to just mix up and just make the dough. It's pretty simple. It just takes about a couple of minutes really. Yeah, it's child's play. If you like, like making uh, play-doh and all that kind of stuff, this is yeah, good practice. It's only that you are making pastry. Yeah, I will just need to add a little bit of flour to just make it a little bit um, not sticky. And then I will knead it on the counter. Oh, making ourselves dirty. So I will just put this away. And I will put my door onto the counter and I will knead that way. I'll just put a little bit of flour and yeah, kneading uh, or making dough is quite very simple. It's just something that yeah, I, I've done for so many years. So for me, it's just a simple, really, um, and there's no technique really. It's just knowing the right balance because um, the dough um, you need just the dough not to be sticky, and then you will be all good to go. Kneading it until you no longer it's no longer um, sticky. So at least I put a little bit more of flour. So I will just leave it to rest. So my dough is nice and ready. And yeah, it just takes you a little bit under five minutes and you are all nice and done. And uh, I will just leave it for to rest for about uh, 
half an hour 20 to half an hour and then I'll start making the pastry so we have the sheets for filling yeah and that is the dough uh, for the samosas so I'll just cover it and uh, let it rest and then we'll see so this is my dough all nice and ready I'll portion it in about six portions equal portions and then I will proceed to just making small rounds and rolling Just trying to evenly distribute so when I roll them out, no one of them will be too thick. Just want them to be nice equal proportions because you want your sheets to be nice equal proportions as well. Six of them. So I will roll, begin rolling with my rolling pin. Roll them into three equal rounds. On the side, pick that one. And meanwhile, I will put my oven on to one hundred and eighty degrees. is on that one on top of the other What I will do after this is now I will just start oiling and then just putting them on top of each other and then I roll them together. And then I put 
put that one on top of that one. I oil it on all the edges. Then I just add a little bit more of flour. breaking because if it breaks then it will mean it's not going to uh, come through properly. I will place that one at the bottom. Just leave it for now. This one. Try to see if I can try to repair it so it doesn't uh, not break out. Know, let me just roll it again. Hopefully it's going to come out a little bit better but just a sort of an emergency. I don't need to oil it. Just put and then I start rolling gently. Just roll it gently together. much noise. Uh, this is 
a baking tray, but I have put it upside down because obviously I wouldn't be able to put it in the normal way. So I need to put it this way so that I can be able to bake, bake and not break evenly. So I will put it in the oven for about um, five to seven minutes and uh, I'll just keep an eye on it. So the oven is uh, on 180 degrees. So we will wait and see how it works. So my pastry is ready. I am switching off the oven and I will pull them up. So they were in there for about seven minutes. I don't want to do them. Nice and ready. I uh, will pull out the baking. Uh, I need to take it away. The baking tray is quite hot. We don't want somebody coming in and getting to touch it. So I'll put it away and uh, we'll start getting ready to separate the so, pastry. So, what I need is my cutting um, knife. Oh, it's wet. I need to wipe it. So I will just cut it in triangles, really. Um, so I will be able to. Nicely separate the pastry. The edges uh, tend to get dried off. So I will try to start separating. So I will pick up the one at the bottom. So we'll start with that one. It's still hot. Don't want my fingers burning. So that is our first sheet. So we have the second sheet. So we are going for the third one. It's quite hot. So we have the third one. So we need about we had six, so we need about six sheets, but the, the sixth might not be uh, useful, but we will try to see how it comes out because it tends to be the one on the top, so it's dried out really, but we will just try and make use of all the sheets that we have. So yeah, you can try this at home, uh, it's just learning the technique and uh, you get there really, this one is a little bit. So we'll leave this one right there, try to separate it. So when I am done with separating and then I will show you now the filling. So uh, out of uh, six I got uh, four 
nicely done. So this is what I'm going to use. So this is my filling and what I need to do is just uh, the paste and the filling and then I uh, will start just uh, making the filling up the pockets. So I will just make three stripes, uh, equal stripes. So I'm just measuring with my eye. I hope they are all going to work out. Yeah, so three portions, three uh, equal proportions. Just measuring with my eyes. So there you have your strips. So I have one, I have two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So I have 12. So that's just about uh, the right proportions for the 400 grams of of um, of um, wheat flour. So I will start filling my first um, pocket. So what you need to do is just to bring your do uh, your pastry to a kind of triangle you take it that way and then you bring it out again you don't want it to bake and then you bring it out that way and then you bring it out again you need to have that uh, stripe there because you need it for um, when you fill up your pockets you need for covering or closing your pastry so I'll put it back again and now I will start uh, filling my pocket so I will do that It's nice and tight, and then I will start filling my pocket. It's just really I just a spoonful. Really. So with this, I will take uh, my paste because I want to close this end and then I go down like this and then I go again down like that and then I take this paste again. I just attach this and there is my first portion if it's a little bit open like this one just uh, glue it together with the pastry but the next one I'll try to make it a little bit neater so that's my first one I'll take another one just show you so I will move that one again and then I will move that one again. And then I will try to fill my pockets once more. So I will put in my pockets. And then I will put the pastry in. Remember this is like your, your glue. But it's... Is good glue because it's just 
the deeper blue. So put that one in and then put that one back and then I put the rest of the paste and I bring it back up and that is my second pastry and then that one again is ready so I'll take the other one that bit is a little bit dry so I'll cut a little bit off and then all over again so I will just fill it this one this one's and when I'm done then I will show you and then we'll get ready to put them in the frying pan all right so I have made uh, about 11 so this is my last sheet so let's just repeat again so, put the pocket fill up the pockets in remember this is just a snack it's not food it's just finger food uh, to enjoy for an afternoon or just a bite when you feel like you just want something. So I touch my last one. So I take it round again and then I put the last one and then I put the last paste in. And now everything is all ready to go into the oil. I do not want to have uh, gaps, so I'll tuck that one in and put a little bit of paste because you do not want the uh, oil going inside your pastry. And uh, yeah, we will start putting it in the fire. My oil is now getting ready. I will just start putting them in. So I will take. So out of uh, 400 uh, grams of flour, you about you have about 12 um, samosas. So uh, it's nice and ready. I'll just start putting the first one. You just want them nice and golden. pastry nice and crispy and uh, inside is the tender juicy mincemeat. I like mine with coriander so I like the taste of coriander.
one for Tongan. So you can use any kind of oil. I use I use uh, vegetable oil. So this will be ready to come out. So that is our first bunch. I try to put them in a pot so that all the excessive oil. just flour, water, and 400 grams of uh, flour, water, uh, 400 ml water, and salt to make your pastry. And uh, next time I will try to show you how to make the filling. But filling, as I said, it is up to your preference. If you want vegetable samosas or you want... Um, meat samosas is up to you so that one is just the preference and the important thing is just i needed to show you how to make the samosa pastry really yeah so that's how lovely they look uh and my daughter cannot wait to dive in she is usually my camera woman so uh, next good. time i will make her because she does very nice uh, brownies next time i will make sure she's the one who is making the brownies and giving you all the juicy parts of how she does her brownies but uh so far thank you for watching and keep this going if you have any questions if you have any comments feel free to um give me a shout and uh yeah do not forget to subscribe uh you are the ones who are keeping me going because yeah you are coming back to watch uh this channel so thank you very much and god bless you bye till next time